Setting up the projector to print your dream craft may be a true pain. That is why we created the Easy Printer. The Easy Printer is a pad printer with a retractable control panel. The main advantage of this printer is that you can set any blueprint projection within seconds using your mouse input. By default, it can store and switch between two blueprints, which speeds up the process of printing stuff like ships, missiles, drones, or any other objects. It offers a wide range of options that can be modified through the well-looking graphical interface or directly. Over here, I need to give a big credit to Brianetta for his projector aligner and Cherkin for his 3 menu command. If you wish to create your own printer, I highly recommend checking those scripts. I leave the links in the description. So how does it work? First, locate the control panel. It's easy as the panel is marked on the floor with the gray border. The panel will retract automatically as you approach it. Four buttons stand for Up, Down, Enter, and Escape. Below, there are two interface screens. On the left screen, there's a general purpose interface. And on the right one, we can see the projection management interface. To interact with the left screen, we can use provided buttons or control it with the mouse input. To control the interface via the mouse input, aim at one of the screens, press K, and take control over the remote control control panel. Press 1. Now you control the interface with your mouse input. To select items, press E, and to go back, press Q. Before we do anything else, let's load blueprints into the projectors. Turn the projectors on and load the blueprints. The block terminal interface was simplified to the minimum to allow for better ergonomy and faster work. Once your desired blueprints are loaded into the projector blocks, select which projection would you like to print. Using provided buttons or mouse input, select projection, projector selection, previous or next projection. Once the projection is set, we can adjust its position to fit on the printing pad. We can close the control panel so it doesn't disrupt the view. To align the projection, press K, select Remote Access, Terminal of the Printer, and take control over the remote control projection. At this point, using your mouse input W, A, S, D, C, and space, you can manage the position of the projection. Once the projection is in the correct position, press F to exit the terminal and open the control panel to start printing. Pressing the red button will take you to the previous screen. Select Welders. Start welding. The right hand screen shows us if the projection was fully welded. If there are no more remaining blocks, we are good to detach. To detach printed craft, select Welders. Detach welded. The printer arm is equipped in the merge block, so you can easily detach the printed craft. You can also adjust the speed and height of the printer arm by selecting welders, welding options, speed down, speed up. The system is very flexible and easy to adjust for specific needs. Its main purpose is to print small crafts, but with minor modifications. It can be extended to the point where you can print anything you want. To achieve that, add as many welders as you want and assign them to the group welders. Now you have a double, triple, or even 100 times bigger printer that can print whatever you want. You can also add more projectors in which more blueprints can be stored. After installing a new projector, get into its custom data and enter the tag projector. After doing so, update the system by running the programmable block projector with the argument build. If you like to keep printing the same craft multiple times when uploading the blueprint to the projector, select Keep Projecting. That way, the projector will keep on projecting the blueprint after printing it. I am using the pad printer in pretty much my every survival game, and I hope that you will find it useful too. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribe for more.